day i literally just woke up it's 11 43 i was thinking to go to the gym in the morning however when i woke up i checked the app and there was like four different classes going in the same time so and all of the classes were packed so i was like there were too many people and i know when people finish the classes as well they're doing stuff so i was like yeah excuse me so i was like yeah that would be too much so i slept i slept till now which is great i had a good sleep finally and i think i'm going to Battersea power station i'm waiting for my friend to confirm uh if we're going together if not then obviously i'll go on my own but that's kind of the plan for today uh i want to go to this korean bakery which is there and then kind of chicken ram i never been literally it's open now for a couple of years and is it a couple of years maybe not even but yeah i don't know but i've never been there so i want to go check it out and then later on when i'm back home i will go to gym because i haven't been yesterday because yesterday was office day and on thursday i didn't go because i was in my period and i just was so so after being in the gym for like three days and then woke like crazy on tuesday so that's a program so far i'm gonna have breakfast i think i have activia yogurt in the fridge so it's gonna be like a little snacky snack to start the day and then make myself tea and then yeah then we will see what we do in. Is that what it is? Good morning. Another day, another dollar. Oh, it's Sunday. I'm up since like eight ish, which is a bit strange. But I've been just reading and watching YouTube and kind of just chilling. I had breakfast in bed. This Activia got healthy yogurt, which actually quite nice. So I had that. Um, I should do food shop. But I can't be bothered to be fair to do it. So I think I'm gonna continue watching a YouTube for a little bit, just chill. Um then around two I will go to gym as per usual. Per usual, like I'm I'm a week back in gym and it's already a habit. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to gym and then I need to sort my room as well because it's messy. And that's probably gonna be kinda it for today so at least we kind of back on track um going to gym i'm not feeling depressed which is quite nice i actually finished reading a book which is called i wanna die but also eat topoki i believe so it's a south korean author and it's essentially kind of book about her feeling depressed etc and it's like a conversation between her and her therapist it's very nicely written the translation is really good i enjoyed it i think i read it literally in like two days three days it was really good and it was kind of nice to see that like other people from other countries that they have exactly the same feelings and emotions and struggles and the way she was like describing how she feeling and why she feels like depressed and kind of wants to die etc was very similar and i could literally i could relate so i think i kind of opened my eyes and be like okay i'm not the only one who's struggling 
yeah, did that, did that. But also, I have to say, the move to a new place like helped a lot as well with my mental health, so that's nice. Um, work is work, work is still kind of stressful. Um, but it's what it is, do you know what I mean? And then I have decided, so at the moment, I'm trying to figure out, but next year I'm going to do a big trip. We're definitely going to Japan. And I think I will go back to South Korea as well. Maybe Vietnam. We will see. I need to figure out. I currently have a goal to essentially saving as much as possible. So we're kind of trying to live below my means. So yeah. And with that, obviously, it would be like, okay, what can I do in London for free? What is super cheap so it's gonna be kind of hopefully this theory to do cheap stuff in london or free stuff in london so i'm quite excited for that and yeah i just need to plan more about it and figure out when i'm gonna take the trip how long it will be i still don't really know but thinking yeah thinking i'll definitely will do it next year so i need something to again like look forward because i realized when i planned my korea trip this year last year when i was planning it it gives me literally something to like looking forward and i haven't really felt that depressed and also now with the winters coming and everything so I'm like okay i need some motivation i need some inspiration and something like that it will keep me going so i think to pencil the trip and then i go again abroad and do big trips so it could really help me but we will see so as i said i will continue watching youtube for a little bit and then go to gym and sort my stuff so i don't think i need to film it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe and i see you next week with a brand new video bye <laughs>